Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about the Shoeing Basic Guide. The first thing is about fabric types. There is so many different fabrics in the market what we can choose for our project. The good fabric for beginner shoeing is a cotton or anything easy to handle like this stretch cotton. Soft jeans or linen. Not recommend to use too thin fabric, too slippery, hard to handle like this or this, stretch knit fabric like jersey or too thick fabric like denim. The second we are going to talk about the fabric right side and wrong side. The right side fabric usually is used for outside of the clothes, while the wrong side is inside of the clothes. Some fabrics are clearly different between right side and wrong side, but some others are just slightly different, even it just looks the same. Next, we are going to talk about basic pattern, for the example of bodies. Usually, pattern is only half piece and used to cut while the fabric folded in the center back and the center front. The good pattern has annotation which is including the name, woman, man, kid, size, and so on. Important also to have a notch. The notch is where the dot of two patterns meet each other, and green line mark as well, which is usually parallel with the center back or center front or depend on the design. Next is about fabric grain. Here is the quick explanation about the fabric grain structure. The first is a selvage, which is a side of the fabric. The second is straight grain line, which is parallel with the selvage. The third is the cross grain line, which is perpendicular with the selvage. And the last is the papayas, which is cut it out 45 degrees diagonally. Next is about how to lay the pattern and cut the fabric. This green line in shoeing is referred to the way that the pattern is cut out when it's laid out on a piece of fabric. Knowing the fabric green line is important when cutting the fabric. The wrong green line can causing the fit problem, twisting, and so on. The easy explanation is because the fabric stretch more in cross green line so it should be placed horizontally to the body, which means the straight red line should be parallel vertically with the body. Let's do some example for the top shirt with back opening. When cutting the fabric, fold it parallel with the straight red line, so the center front or center back will be stay together. Place the front side pattern on the top of the fabric, Make sure the green line mark on the pattern and fabric are parallel and the center front exactly in the folded fabric. Pin it and mark all around with the tailor chalk. Now, place the back side. As it is a back opening, move it a bit from the folded area to make sure that the center back will be cut out in the two pieces. Pin it and mark all around with the tailor chalk and then cut all the pieces. Not recommend to lift the fabric up while cutting. It can cause the same differences. And now all the pieces are ready to sew. Try as less as possible washing the fabric. Here is some examples of pattern layout for saving the fabric. When lay the pattern, make sure that the fabric picture design doesn't go upside down how to cut the bias. Place the fabric on the flat surface. Cut it diagonally 45 degrees angle. The width can be 3 to 5 cm or depend on the design. The bias cutting usually is used for binding in neckline and arm, covering the seam allowance or decoration. Next is about seam allowance. The seam allowance is the area between the fabric edge and the stitches line. Usually it's about 1 to 1.5 cm width. Back stitch. 
The back stitch is used to lock the stitching line. Usually it's about 1 to 1.5 cm backward in the beginning and the end of the stitching. Next is about machines. There is so many different kinds and types of sewing machine. Please read your manual for checking the machine guide, part, and threading. First is domestic machines which is the best for beginner, easy to handle, and has so many different stages. The second is industrial machine. This is for professional use with a fast speed. The next is overlock machine. This is used to finish the fabric edge to avoid fraying and make it neat. And the four thread machine can work with jersey fabrics. The last one is cover stitch machine. This is used for top stitching the jersey fabrics. The swing machine important setup. Stitch length. It can be adjusted in this setting. The length of the stitch can be vary. The short one is good for joining to fabric or thick fabric. The medium stitch is the best for the woven garden. And the long stitch is good for hem finish. There can be longer stitch which is for base or temporary stitch. The 10 cent is. Usually I set it up in the number 4. The best tension is the both side stitches have the same strength and neat surface. For the example is this one. The first upper thread is too tight. The second one the both sides are in balance. The third one the upper thread is too loose. And now let's start to sew. First prepare your fabrics. Here is two pieces of the fabrics. Place them right side together like this. And then turn on the machine switch button. Remember the 1 cm seam allowance and 1 cm the back stitch. Place the fabrics under the presser foot with 1 cm seam allowance. Bring down the needle 1 cm from the edge. Bring down the presser foot. Press the reverse the back stitch. Press the pedal slowly. Stitch backward until the edge. Release the reverse button. And then continuing to sew the stitch forward until end of the edge. When it's end of the edge, just do again the back stitch for 1 cm with pressing the reverse. Lift the presser foot up, pull the fabric out and trim the thread. Look back for the whole process. And here is the result from the wrong side. It can be closed seam or open seam. We will discuss the other seam types in other video. The right side is looks like this. And the stitch line edge with back stitch is strong to hold the stitch. And the last we talk about the finish seams. After sewing the fabrics together, the seam allowance edge needs to be overlocked to avoid the fraying and to make the edge of the fabric neat. After watch this basic swing guide for beginner, hopefully you can start your own project. Bye guys, thanks for watching, subscribe for more video, and if you like this video, give me thumbs up.